Hey guys, welcome to Tony's How To's. In this video, I will show you how to fix Valorant Van 1067 connection error. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest software just under this video. So let's get started. So there's a few things that we should do, be doing here to fix this issue. So one of the things that you should be doing here is check for updates on your Windows or your PC. So in this case, we want to go to the search at the bottom side of your screen here and just type in update and you see you should see the check for update settings here. Now in this case, you want to ch click on the check for updates here and see if there are any updates and make sure that you installed it on your PC. Now once you've installed it, go ahead and restart your PC and we'll be going to the next step. Now for the next step, we now want to update our graphics driver. So at the bottom left of your screen, just go ahead and click on it and you want to go to device manager. So go ahead and open this up and from here you want to look for the section that says display adapters go ahead and click on it and you want to right click on your display adapter here and you want to click on update driver and click on search automatically for drivers now in this case it's going to look for and basically install the latest driver for your graphics and once it is installed you could go ahead and click just click on close here and we are now ready to proceed with the next steps now for the next step, this is going to be the first solution that we'll be doing. Now for the first solution, we first have to go ahead and go to search here and just type in services and you want to open this up. Now from here, you want to look for VGC. So go ahead and click on the name here and just type in V. And from here, you want to go to VGC here. I click on it and you want to go to properties. Now from here, you want to make sure that you change this to automatic and hit on start. And once it starts, you could go ahead and click on apply and OK. And you could go ahead and close this one and see if that solves your issue. Now, now, but if that doesn't solve your issue, we have another solution, which includes using CMD. So go ahead and close all these windows here and you want to go to your search here, just type in CMD and you should see the command prompt application pop up. Now in this case, we want to right click on it and just click on run as administrator and just hit on yes if it requests any further permissions. In this case, we want to type in the following command which is going to be IP config space slash flush DNS. Now in this case, go ahead and press on enter and the next command that we'll be entering here is going to be net sh when sock reset. Now here, just press on enter. And from here, you need to restart your PC. And from there, see if that solves your issue. And that's about it. So thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, you could use the link in the description to subscribe. See you in the next video.